90% of the pharmaceutical medicines that we have on the market starts right here where we're at now. Some species, they are threatened in nature. So while we are growing here, we are conserving them. When I speak about where I work, people always are interested to know exactly what we do here. We do the chemical analysis of these plants and at the same time we do botanical authentication, microscopical analysis to verify the plant identity. So we are investigating the chemistry in these species. I'm a chemistry major at the University of Mississippi. I felt it would better prepare me starting at the medicinal plant garden to eventually go into medicinal chemistry. Everything counts, even down to the smallest seed, but down to the smallest molecule. We're working with something here that grows larger and feeds and grows. And right here, this is the beginning, this is the germination of learning, of discovering, of understanding what plant is going to be used for this, what plant is going to be used for that. And we educate people how to use wisely these uh, species and how valuable they are. We house a lot of rare plant varieties and their potential is not even completely measured yet. So what we do here is valuable for the very near future and the distant future as well. The list goes on of the, the education that we can get from these plants just in their natural form and their natural habitat. The list goes on and we're still learning. A lot of these plants, chemists even now, cannot reproduce the chemicals because they're too large and too complex. It's just not practical in recreating what Mother Nature can create herself. We actually have one plant that doesn't grow anywhere else in the, in the United States, and we have it here. And I think a lot of people are surprised that Mississippi, of all places, would be a place chosen for this. You'd be surprised what you're going to find in the state of Mississippi. I'm getting experience with what I'm working with. When I'm in the lab and I'm looking at a particular medicine, I'm not seeing it as just something in a flask. I'm seeing it as something that began as a seed that people actually grew, took time with, and uh, nurtured along. And it's really, really a good gift to be able to say, okay, this is going to turn into something that will one day save a life. And it's important to preserve this knowledge for future generations. Every little piece is an accumulation of the bigger, and these plants are nothing but proof. By saving these particular plants, we're going to ensure in the future when we do find better ways to use it, that that option will still be there, it'll be possible. People can come and enjoy the nature and also see what kind of research we are doing on these plants.